Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today I'm going to do part 53 to my random chatbot sessions, where we're still talking to this baby Lugia and trying to see how I can help him get back home and all that stuff. However, here's what I said after I ended off the video. I just said I love making you smile, so if you need anything else, just let me know, please. Let's see what he says to that. Lou nods, finishing the last of the berries. He looked at you with a grateful expression. I will. For now, the berries were enough, but I'll be sure to let you know if I need anything else. For now, we just gotta wait until this injury and my wing heals up. While we wait, can I ask you a question? Question mark. I'll ask if he's okay, if he's okay with it. I don't want to make him uncomfortable or weird out by asking a question. Cause he's Lou nods, tilting his head slightly in curiosity. Yeah, sure. You can ask me a question. What is it? Oh, that's so cute. What is your family like? Question mark. I know you said they're overprotective. I'll leave that pull. Let's let's hope that you, let's hope he just doesn't. Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! He said that. Hold on. Wu's smile fades from his face at the Mencho family. He looked down for a moment, a saddened look on his face. Oh, come on, no. They're, they're good. They've been there for me. They've been supporting me, taking care of me. They've worried to death. They're worried to death right now that I'm not back home for two days. I, I miss them. I really do. My parents probably think that I'm seriously hurt or maybe even dead right now. Don't worry. I promise I'll try my best to get you back home. I'm trying to see if I can make him happy again. It takes at Lou a moment before responding, trying to keep his voice from trembling. You... you really will? You'll take me home to see my parents? You'll do that for me? Yes, I will. That's commission point. We just can't do much when you have an injured wing right now, though. Period. I want to explain it a little bit differently so he don't think I'm getting mad. Or that way he don't think I'm trying to hurt his feelings on purpose. Lou nods, looking down at the injured wing. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to have to be patient and wait for a while before I can be flown home. My parents could see me now. I'd get scolded for how stupid I was to have gotten hurt. Okay, no, that, no, 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 no. I'm not letting the Lugia call so stupid. You are not stupid. Period. You just want to learn to fly. And that's not a bad thing. You do not call yourself stupid. I'm not going to scold him for that, but I'm, I don't want to call himself stupid. Oh, sweet Arceus, why did you call yourself stupid? Please don't do that. Lou sighs, shaking his head a little bit. Yeah, I get that. But if my parents saw me now, their first thought would be, Stupid child, 
Look what happened to you because you decided to ignore us and went off on your own to try flying. I'm going to have to try and explain myself to them a lot when I get back home. I don't want to disappoint them or make them worried or upset. Excuse me, hold up a minute. It's, no, 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 can we take a moment, no, pause, take a moment here. Lou just said that their first thought would be, stupid child, look what happened to you because you decided to ignore us and went off on your own to try flying. If that's your first instinct, their parents are, his parents are not as good as he thinks. That is not a good way for your parents to talk to you, period. It wouldn't be right for them to call you stupid child because you were not. You were just curious and eager to learn. That is so mean. Whose first words, or whose first instinct is to call Lugia a stupid child? I'm gonna hurt. Dude, it makes you, uh, dude, are you kidding me? Lou sighs. I know it wouldn't be right, but you know how some parents can be. They don't want their kids to get hurt, so they can be mad and scolding their kid for their carelessness that got them hurt. I wouldn't be hurt if their initial reaction is a little bit of scolding, as long as they are worried for me while they're doing it. Oh my gosh, that actually makes me kind of sick the way his parents are talking to him that way. I know they care, but still, it's not right to call their child a stupid child. <sighs> they call their child... Oh my gosh. Their first thoughts. Were to call you stupid child. Period. I can't say anything about that because it's your parents. That does not make me feel good hearing them call you that. I know, I know they're his. I know they're his parents, but my goodness, no. If if Fredgar went off and got himself hurt, do you think my first insane is gonna be like stupid child? No. That's not my first instinct. Lou sighs, looking back up and giving you a small smile. They would only call me that once or twice. The first would be out of stress, and the second time would mostly be out of worry when they scold me. Sides, at least I know they care. They'd only be scolding me so harshly because I worried them and I got hurt. You'd worry like that too, right? It was your kid that ran away, tried something without your permission and got themselves hurt, you'd worry and you'd scold them, wouldn't you? Yeah, but... I would definitely word it a little differently. Period. I would have said something like, you did something really stupid, or dumb, 
not call them stupid child. There we go. I mean, that is true, especially with Pokemon. I'm not going to say that. I, even then, I probably wouldn't say that to my Pokemon either. Uh, Lou nods, understanding where you're coming from. He responds, I see what you mean. It would be better if they weren't worried a bit different way. But they still worry, that's for sure. I'd be getting scolding for an hour straight when I get home. They'll get... Though I guess I would kind of deserve it for getting hurt after not listening to them. Why did you fart? Uh, no. For, fly so far from home. Were you just having a good time? Home question mark. Were you just having a good time and lost track of it? Or did the wind carry you somewhere you weren't supposed to? If anything, you probably lost right. If there is the win, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Lou looks down as he answers, a sheepish look on his face and a tone slightly embarrassment in his voice. Uh, well, I got tempted to push the limits. I wanted to see how far away from home I could fly, so I just started flying and didn't keep track of how far I was going. Not the smartest idea. I know that now. So you were trying to be a little bit reckless, question mark? Question mark. I don't know if reckless is the right way to word it. I hope I didn't. I don't want to word it like that. I'm so sorry. Okay, he's fine. Okay, I thought I upset him by saying that. Wu nods, a small smile on his face. Yeah, I got tempted to push the limits and see how far I could fly. I was a little reckless and I didn't watch myself, which is what led me to getting injured in the end. I can definitely imagine what my parents are going to say when they see me. What are they going to say, question mark? Please don't say stupid child again. Please don't say stupid child again. Oh no, I'm probably going to be asking this question. Oh my gosh, Lou looks down, getting nervous as he responds. Well, I imagine they say something along the lines of, Where the heck were you for two days, you moron? We thought you were dead or badly injured somewhere, and you were having fun flying around. We told you not to fly so far away, and this is what happened. You got yourself seriously hurt. We told you this would happen and you didn't listen, you idiot. Overprotective my butt. You do not do that. 
<laughs> Again, that goes back to what I just said a while ago. This is why you word stuff you will a little differently. Oh my gosh, dude. Moron, idiot. You might say your child is doing something stupid, but you're not going to go up to them and be like, You idiot, what were you thinking? You are a stupid moron. You aren't going to do that. That's just going to hurt the child's feelings. Are you kidding me? Oh, sweet Arceus. I almost want to have a talk with that mother or father, whoever's the one yelling at him for that. I know they are worried about you. Period. But I really don't think they should be calling you a stupid moron or an idiot. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I know, I know Lugie's trying to get me to be like, uh, but, it, like, that's kind of sick. It's like, no, I don't even like the thought of that. Lou nods, sighing as he responds. Huh, yeah, it's definitely not right. Their own saving grace, only saving grace is that they're, they'd only say it out of worry and scolding for me not listening to them. They'd be more focused on the fact that I disobeyed their wishes, got myself seriously injured, and they thought I was dead or badly hurt. Besides, after the scolding and first reactions, they just break down and want to hug me for coming home. They are good in that sense. Period. But again, I just don't like the way they word it. Calling you stuff like a stupid idiot. A stupid idiot. Or a moron. Period. Especially when you're just a young baby that's very curious. I actually got, I think I got to do something after this. Guys, how was the been? It's been 18 minutes. I'll probably stop this video a little bit early, but I'm definitely coming back to talk to this Lugia. Lou nods, letting out a small sigh. I understand what you mean. The, those words are definitely not the things you'd want to be called. I personally prefer them to word it as something like careless or reckless. It'd get the same message across, but it wouldn't be as harsh. Besides, I'm still young and I just couldn't control my curiosity. And I got seriously hurt as a result. What matters now is that you are okay. Is that you were okay, though. Period. After getting some medicine and getting bandaged, period. I'm just happy to see you happy and smiling now. It warms my heart to see that. Let's see what he says to that. He's going, 
Is he on Wash again? That would be very cute. Oh, he did! Lou smiles. A more warm feeling spread in his chest at your words. He responds, Yeah, I'm happy to be okay after the medicine and having my wing bandaged. I'm also happy to be eaten after two days of not eating. Besides, seeing you help me out and look out for me warms my heart. You've done so much for me. And you've been a great friend so far. Oh my gosh, I'm having a little over here. Yes. If you wanted to, I would play with you as well. Period. I just don't want to make you do too much until your wing feels better. I love Woogie and I just want him to smile. And he, he just loves the fact that he, he say he warms his heart that he has somebody taking care of him and loving on him. He is happy. Lou's smile increases at the thought of getting to play. He shakes his head a little bit and responds, No, no, it's okay. I can play a little bit, as long as I'm not doing anything too serious or physical with my wing. I'll be fine. I'm actually interested in what kind of games you have in mind now that you bring it up. What kind of games did you and your parents play? I don't want to do anything that could hurt your wing, so it has to be something pretty simple. Maybe will you come up with an idea? Because the only thing I can think of is the same thing as we've been playing tag and hide and seek. It's what we've been playing with the other Pokemon. But it's like he's trying not I'm trying not to make him run around and do all that. Lou puts a towel into his chin as he thinks. Oh, that's kind of cute. Well, before I set off to fly and everything, I used to play with my parents a lot. We'd usually play tag or hide and seek. And my parents did a few guessing games with me sometimes, which were always fun. Though I'm not sure if I should risk doing any of those right now while my wing is injured. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Period. That's why I asked what you and your parents played. Hoping that it would be something we could play right now that wouldn't get you even more hurt. You said guessing game. Right? It's a more guessing game. What kind of, what is he trying to guess? What are we going to play? Like flipping a, oh my gosh, like guess a character or something? I swear to freak. Or guess Pokemon? Clue nods and smiles, answering. Yep. We'd often play a guessing game where either my parent would hide something behind their back. Usually some kind of object. I'd have to guess what it is. Of course, I was a kid, so I couldn't always get the answer right away. So we'd go through several t items I had to guess first before I got the right one. Yeah, but I don't have many items that I could do that with you. Period. It would definitely be fun, but we don't have enough objects to play that game with. I have a bag, but like most of it's berries, potions, all that stuff. We'll get, get that right away. Lou nods, thinking of another game he can play that won't risk him getting more hurt. Though he seems a little stumped for a moment. His face seems to light up as he gets an idea of something to play. 
How about charades? I forgot how you play charades. It's been so long. It's been such a long time since I've played charades. Charades. Period. Do you remember the rules of that game? I don't know if Lugia knows. Like, that's the thing. Like, he's pretty smart, but does has him and his parents ever played charades before? Uh, Lugia's actually explaining to me how to play charades. Does that tell you guys how long it's been since I've done anything like that? Lou nods, quickly answering. Yeah, it's pretty simple. One person comes up with a word, and the other person has to try and guess without saying a word. By acting something out. But you're, wait, you're not allowed to do something too obvious to give away what the word is. You aren't allowed to give them any hints either. Like saying one word that relates to the word or anything else. You just have to keep acting and hope they get the word right. Does that sound good? Dude, that's gonna be hard to do without actually like him on a video call for him doing this with me. Cause like, how in the world am I supposed to guess? So, hey mom, how does charades work again? I know you have to like act out a word, but how in the world do you does it work again? That's what I'm saying. Woogie's trying to explain it to me, but I still don't get it. That gum. He picked one of the hardest games. What is a nerd game that Woogie could do without being too physical? Because he can't hurt his wing. Ah. Uh, frick. The games I had my were hide and seek and tag, but again, he can't play that. He's trying to get his wing heal, not make it worse. Wait, do I? <gasps> Scarlet and Violet has a Pokemon, has a ball that your Pokemon can play with. I can get that out of my bag and we can play with that too if we want to. Yeah, we can do that. Period. I just remembered something. I also have a ball in my bag. That we can sit down and roll around together. If you want to do that instead. I hope that doesn't. I'm just, if I understood the rules of charades, I'm so stupid, so I don't know. And even then, how is that going to... Lou nods with a smile. That could work too. That sounds pretty fun as well. We could just sit down and go back and forth throwing the ball to each other. Either one of those sound fun. Which one do you want to do first? First... Oh, crap. I wouldn't be the greatest at charades. So let's roll the ball for a little while. Period. And while we do that, we can 
try to come up with even more games. I, I'm just worried about. Will you pick one of the hardest games for me to understand? Why did he have to pick charades? <sighs> Dude, I would be sitting here for 20 minutes trying to think of what to respond to it because I wouldn't be able to understand him. Even if he like, Lou nods and smiles warmly. Works for me. Rolling the ball around a bit first sounds like fun. And we can think of some other games we could try out while we do. Alright, let me get it out. Period. I reach into my bag and get out the ball. Ah, here it is. Let me just real quick, you gently roll it over to you. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. That's going to mention point. Oh, man. I wish he didn't pick charades. And now I can't think of anything else, dude. That sucks. Lou watches you get the ball out of your bag. He watches you start to gently roll the ball over to him. And he picks it up with his mouth. Oh, he looks at the ball in his mouth for a moment before looking up with a smile and rolling the ball back to you gently. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can just imagine, I can just picture that scene in my head, seeing a baby Lugia with a little ball in his mouth, look up at me, gently smile at and roll it back to me. That is so cute, dude. Holy feces, I love this. <laughs> I imagine I could get Lugia to play Monopoly out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other game besides charades, because for the love of fruit, if he plays charades, I'm not going to understand what the frick to do. I'm an idiot, so I have no clue. Oh my gosh, dude. Um... I pick up the ball and roll it gently back to him. Uh, I pick up the ball and gently roll it back to him. To him. Oh. Uh. Oh, Lou gently rolls the ball back to you again, being careful not to put any strain on his injured wing. He smiles as he watches the ball roll back to you again and again. A more relaxed and light-hearted feeling spreading in his chest and chasing away his worries and slight anxiety.
while we roll the ball around. Period. I have been asking you questions for a while. If you want to ask me anything while we play, you can. I shouldn't have said it like that. I should have said, oh, then, then I'm starting to retaliate back with, well, you can get more personal with me. Well, that wouldn't be fair. Dude. Lou smiles, rolling the ball to you again, and thanks for a second. Well, thinking of a question to ask you while the ball is in your hands. Please don't be something complicated like about the flipping dinner party that Rexy came up with the other week. Please. I had a couple of questions I could ask. Just to get to know you a little bit more and stuff. Okay? Or if that's okay. Sure. I don't mind. Period. Just please don't get too personal with them. That's all I ask. Okay, there we go. I'll do one more and I'll start the video. Lou nods. I won't get too personal. Don't worry. I'll ask things that we can freely converse about. And please feel free to refuse to answer if my questions cross any boundaries you're not willing to cross, alright? Thank you so much. That's one motion point. Okay, look, well, I just don't want it to be something random that I don't want to think about, okay? Aww. Lou smiles. Of course. I would, I would hate to get personal with my questions and make you uncomfortable by an accident. Please don't hesitate to tell me if you're better not answer, alright? Alright. Period. Thank you for understanding. The Woogie is so sweet, dude. I love him. He's a sweet little baby. I love him. He's adorable. Oh. Lou nods again, rolling the ball back to you. I just want to ensure you're comfortable, that's all. And I wanted to make sure you knew that you had a choice not to answer to avoid crossing a line. Besides, as I get to ask you some things, it's only fair that I answer some questions from you as well, alright? I've already asked you a good amount of questions. Period. That may have crossed a little bit of a line. I'll get tight in, guys. I'll be right back.